Only available at your local Ashley store. Okay, we are not the only ones wanting to have a new you in the new year. The new year also brings some new laws with it. So Mark Warren, John Mark Griffin are here to break it all down for us from Warren and Griffin. Y'all look nice and warm on this cold day. Hey, is it, it good to be alive and be in Tennessee? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it is. Love it. Yes, it Love is. It. Unless we're not going to like these new laws. Are we going to well, like these new you laws? Know, some of these are tweaks on older laws. For example, there's a new penalty for driving distracted uh, as you remember as there should be this start, as, as there should be you know back in 2009 when John Mark and I first started seeing the uptick in traffic accidents because people were texting that was the advent of the iPhone and uh, they outlawed texting and driving in 2009 10 years later they passed a law that that outlawed using your cell phone period in your car you know mm -hmm. hands-free Tennessee mm -hmm. now the new law is adding additional penalties if you're caught distracted driving and not doing hands-free Tennessee. And it focuses on those individuals under 18 as a second offense. And so it's really uh, focused on the young drivers and a second offense where the first offense does not get their attention, which is three points. If you get hit with a second offense, it's seven points. But That's a lot you, of points. If you're 55 and you get caught, is it still apply to you? Or no, 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 it's, it's, it, no, it's under 18. That's a very good okay. point. It, this is under 18. As of a lot of laws, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's progressive. You know, in 2009, we started noticing this uptick. You know, we started you know, really hammering away about no texting and driving and never text and drive days. Yeah, as you remember, we had, we had a whole day. show one yeah. time. Oh, yeah. yeah, Miller Plaza, gonna, a whole hour. Yeah, I was going to go there actually because one of the things we did during that hour was we went out with a state trooper, right? And we did a drive around with him, and it was really and I've never forgotten this right. because I will admit I was the person who at the red light. I would check my phone. Right. right. Well, mm -hmm. not after I was with that state trooper. Guilty. Because he, yeah, I'm <laughs> confessing my sin. But he was up high, and it was crazy because mm -hmm. we would pull up through the, these red lights, and he'd say, "Watch, you're going to see about two or three cars." Oh, yeah. And sure enough. So mm -hmm. it's been a matter. You know, it's been a progression. You know, it went from in 2009 we started noticing this, and then the next thing, you know, was initially a secondary offense if you were texting and driving, meaning if they stop you for something else, then you could get it, you could take it in for that, and then it became a primary uh, offense. Uh, and then, you know, mm -hmm. with hands-free driving came about. So it's been a progression. This is, this is a natural kind of progression as to what can we do to further stem the distracted driving. Distracted and, driving and is so dangerous, though, as far as you take your, your, your eyes off the road for five seconds, you travel a football field, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, it's actually, this is, this is what blows my mind. Five it, seconds is a long time, Well, well, well to, to count, you know, when you glance down at That's the red lights, you know, or wherever, you know, it is five seconds before mm -hmm. you read it text but also it, what, what the, the, set, the stat that blows my mind is it's actually safer to drive intoxicated than it is to text and drive if it's you're safer yeah, if you're drinking and driving your reaction time is slowed by 13 percent if you're texting and driving your reaction time is slowed by 37 percent it's amazing it's amazing wow. and people still do it is you, that because if you're drunk and you're driving at least you're looking at, at the least road. you're looking at the road your, resp your responses may be it. slowed but that's if you're, you're texting and driving your eyes are off the road I mean, you may not even be looking up for two or three seconds, depending on what you're texting. Seven points on your record if you're under 18 is big time, okay? Twelve points, you, your license can be suspended for a year. Your points stay on your record for two years. So really, one incident involving speeding and texting or distracted driving, you can lo you lose your license for a year. Yeah. Now, that, now that the consequences are in, in increased insurance rates. I was going to ask if they worked yeah. in conjunction. Well, yeah, you know, what, what we see is that, you know, your insurance rates go up 21% first ticket for texting and driving or distracted driving. If you get two of them, it goes up almost 42%. Jiminy. Yes, Jiminy Cricket. That's Mr. my Cricket. word. Yes, yes, Jiminy. Word of the day. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I and, say and, that and, all the time. And, and, <laughs> and, and so, you know, as lawyers, we look for, well, what's the unintended consequence of this? And the unintended consequence, if you can't afford car insurance because your rates have doubled, is you stop buying car insurance. Well, okay, and that's a chronic problem yes, in Tennessee. Yes, absolutely. So is that one of the reasons why we are seeing more people not have car insurance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, car insurance are on your budget. You're going to buy groceries. You're going to pay for the rent. You're going to pay heat, you know, before you, you pay your monthly car insurance. Bill. Yeah, but if your monthly car insurance is high because you've been busted texting and driving, that's not fair to the rest of us. It is not. Exactly. And so, and, and so what do we do? 
to the rest of us. What do we do? Well, we have to shift. It's, it, it's you, up you to should, us now. You should make sure that because of this unintended consequence, people should actually be purchasing with their insurance uninsured motorist coverage. You it is must, relatively cheap you know, compared to the liability yeah. insurance. That way you're protected for the, the unintended event, consequence of people losing their insurance and license. It's inexpensive. It's relatively inexpensive. It's a, it's a lot cheaper than normal insurance, you know, and really in Tennessee with so many uninsured drivers, and if you're involved in a car accident with an uninsured driver, you're the one footing the bill for your medical bills. You're the one footing the bill for your car repairs. You're the one footing your bill. So it's smart. You're, you're a bonehead if you don't have uninsured it, motorists. And just, really Jiminy it, Cricket. It, it, Jiminy Cricket yeah. bonehead. And, and just for people that, that don't know what the uninsured motorist coverage does, is it steps in and covers for an accident as if the other driver had insurance. So it helps protect you for the damages that the other person may have caused where your liability insurance won't cover Okay, that. I want to ask you a question that, that might sound tacky, but it's a practical question, okay. I think. Um, you're mentioning the teenagers and how they're kind of the ones targeted with these new laws. If you're the parent of even, let's just say, a college student, 18 and right. up, where technically they could be on their own. Right. And they have a car that, you know, you, you have the car insurance on mm -hmm. it. Should you put them on their own policy and that way if something did happen, you're not liable? If they can afford it, but uh, what certainly. If you, what but, if you pay it? You know, well, um, if you pay, the, the, really if the vehicle's in the in the 18 year old's name, that's really the issue. Uh, you know, doesn't I matter can, who carries I can insure your car right. if you want me to. Right. You so so to? the question, yeah, but if you, if you insured my car. Right, I'm just purchasing the insurance. It's but just the insurance. I, it's a separate issue, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, separate, so if you issue. had the insurance on my car and I caused a wreck, they would not come after you. No, I've just purchased no. the insurance. No, uh, I have no. no. Okay, no. well that was my question. Yeah, that was it. So you're you're, you're good. Now okay. now now we're not offering. Now we're not offering that advice. We're not offering that. You to purchase your insurance, but we, we, we love you and everything, Julie, but we're going to pass on that. No, that's, that's fine. But, 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 <laughs> but as I have far a clean as liability, I'm, oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure the cleanest thing is if you can separate those issues, then fine. If you can have a car in, in an 18-year-old's name in their own policy, you know, that separates. Because okay. you also have some concerns about who's, who's uh, not included on a policy that may be in the household or who may be excluded from a policy. So right. you need to make certain that you check with your agent to make certain if you have those policies that okay. everybody's covered. You also bring up a good point about your driving record. I mean, there could be mistakes on your driving record. I mean, there could be points on your driving uh, record. So check it. So you should check your driving record. Okay. Now, it's not easy. You have to go online and request your driving record to be sent to you. Okay. So it's, it's not just a, where you can go online and see how many points CMARC has. So I'm going to have fun before my thoughts slip away. Okay. okay? So we're going to keep on with the Jiminy Cricket thing. So okay. give a little whistle. To Give Warren and Griffin. There you go. I love that. And you Wait can to download your, you're a professional. the Warren you're and a Griffin pro. app if yes. you don't have it. Drive safely. You love our app, don't, don't you? be distracted. Yes. And that goes for pedestrians too. Just Absolutely. be in mindful of your surrounding houses. Y'all stay warm, fellas. Right. You too. Pete Dammer. Want to win some cash from our forecasts? Enter our three degree guarantee contest. Every time the local three storm alert team gets the high temperature right, we'll add 10 bucks to the jackpot. At the end of the month, someone wins.